back to Arc Tutorials. This is 100 plus JavaScript coding interview questions and answer series. I hope you are enjoying this series and checking out all the questions that I'm covering in this series. Today's question is how do you find maximum value in a numbered array? So the input given to you is an array of numbers and you have to find the maximum value in that. This is one of the favorite question of interviewers and most likely they will ask you and this is something that you will also require when you're working on a day-to-day -day basis. So let's see how to solve this problem. This is question number 11. Before we get started with coding, I'll request you to please check out my ebook that I have published. It covers 100 plus JavaScript code snippets that every developer must know. These code snippets will help you become a better developer and will help you increase your logical thinking. You can check out the book at arctutorials.gumroad.com. Thank you in advance. So the question is how to find maximum value in a numbered array. To find the maximum value in a numbered array, we are implementing a method which will find max value. Okay. Inside the method, we are making will make use of the array reduce method for each element and we'll check if the value is greater than the previous one or not. That's the simplest, fastest, and the most optimized solution. All right. Let's get started with hands-on and let's see how to implement this. So script and then let's create a um, uh, number array and give some values. These are the questions that will help you increase your logic, thinking, approach to your problems and how you logically think and making use of different built-in um, things right that's the most important thing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write a method and I'm going to say max value or you can say find max value and what we will do is we'll pass an array to this particular function okay now we have passed a function so now we will say return what should it return array dot and we will use the reduce uh, reduce built-in method and it says there is a callback mechanism that we have to write so I'm going to write a function and if you see it says previous value and current value so previous value and current value okay and then what are we going to do then inside this we have to do our comparison okay and then return it so I'm going to say return if previous value um, let's say previous value is greater than current value if it's true then return previous value else return current value okay so that's the concept that if the previous value is greater than current then return previous value else return the current value let's see this if it finds us the maximum value so find and pass the array which is number array and what we'll do is we'll just do a console log alrighty let's see if the logic works so it says 98 okay which means this is the greatest right so you can test it by increasing some value now I'm expecting that 163 should be the highest one so refresh so it says 163 so what are we doing? We are making use of the built-in method, which is reduce. And what does reduce do? It will take the previous value and current value. And since we have two values, we can just compare and return it. That's the fastest way to check and returning the maximum value. All right. Hope this is clear. Please do try it out. Type it with me. Understand the logic. And you will be using this more some or other time in your day-to-day -day development. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for joining. Please do get the ebook for more such JavaScript coding questions. You can find the book at arctutorials.gumroad.com. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and watch the complete playlist so that you can learn all these questions for free as well. Thank you so much. See you in the next episode.